What's up with it, man? It's your boy Chromatic, aka Cortez, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, before we start off this little interview, I just want to show off the new whip, you know what I'm saying? Just get a good look of it, you know what I'm saying? We got the black on black rims, you know what I'm saying? I got pull up in all black, that's my favorite color, blue and black, my, my favorite color, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, coming out of the inside of it, we got the blue strip on the seat, hold on. The, uh, I need some light in there. Gotta get that right there, you know what I'm saying? Got the, got the blue strip on the seat. It's on all the seats, you know what I'm saying? All right, all right, all right. Now. So, I recently kind of just became a shoe head, you know what I'm saying? My girl kind of, she kind of put me on, you know? I still got some catching up to do. We got these. Day breaks, you know what I'm saying? Something slight, a weight. It's not even the best part yet. I pulled these out at the mall. And I think I had the freshest shoes at the mall. I was getting all the looks. These are the DNAs. I've been had these for a couple months, but then COVID hit, I couldn't even rock them nowhere. You know what I'm saying? But starting to pull them out a little bit. All right. It looked just like it's like, you know, regular cream, cream colored, you know what I'm saying? This is the best way I know, I know how to do it. Okay, if you look through here, they're reflective, you know what I'm saying? So they purple, green, cream colored, you know what I'm saying? So. What's up, man? It's your boy Chromatic, aka Cortez. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm from Dallas, Texas. Born in Denton, moved to Grand Prairie, uh, aka GP, at the Williamsburg Apartments. Um, then went to El Paso for 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 a year because my uh, grandfather had passed. So we moved in with Nana. Moved back to GP. Moved to Duncanville. Then moved to Cedar Hill, then to North Beckley Oak Cliff, and now I'm in downtown Dallas. So I just say Dallas, you know what I'm saying? That's where I'm from, Dallas. I've always had the Texas culture within me, but I've always been slightly different. Like for some reason, people think, they think I'm either from the East Coast, they think I'm from the West Coast, but I'll let, I'll let niggas know all the time, I'm a Dallas nigga, you know what I'm saying? I just, I talk proper, you know what I'm saying? Like my grandmother was an English teacher. I feel like people accept me now. At first it was hard to fit in. I feel like people didn't really like, accept me like that. I stood out all the time, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but over time, I kind of picked up on some of the slang, was able to kind of blend in with everybody, you know what I'm saying? But it's way more fun when you when you grown and you can move around, you know what I'm saying? So I love I love Dallas. I love the city. Mavericks games, Cow Cowboys games. You know, I got, I got some real good access to like all the, all the Mavs games, you know what I'm saying? I'll be in the suite, I'll be, I'll be courtside, they'll be, they be playing the nigga music at the games, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Boys and I be playing me right now, man. We get tragic, switch like habits, but we different. You know I'm the ghost, look at my feet. And it's my song playing. <laughs> so, I love Dallas. My mom used to play a lot of, she used to play a lot of like Tupac, Biggie, Jay-Z. Um, so that, that caught my interest. Oh, Snoop, you know what I'm saying? So just that lifestyle really caught my interest, you know what I'm saying? I love, I love music, I was always real creative. Used to draw a lot, write, po write poetry. But then when I saw, um, when Lil Bow Wow came out, that's when I realized, I was like, okay, even though I'm a kid, I don't gotta wait until I'm older to start doing this. So that's when I started getting into it. But uh, once I hit sixth grade, she bought me the College Dropout album by Kanye West. And that's pretty much what showed me that I can do different things with my music besides rap about the same stuff that everybody else rap about, you know what I'm saying? Get a little bit more creative with it, so. The middle school years, I started, I, I was recording on my mom's little uh, tape recorder or cassette thing, you know what I'm saying? She really had it for college so she could record and listen to, to her notes. Um, but I, I, I used to take it and cut on some beats and just freestyle to it. And that's how I first started making my, my, my little mixtapes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, then uh, she, she linked me up with her co-worker's son started getting into the studio out in, out in Oak Cliff. Um, 
that's how I met Zach Witness. Some of y'all know him by DJ White Chocolate, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so most of my battles were in like sixth grade, you know what I'm saying? This this one I kind of realized like really battle rap ain't for me, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm decent at freestyling, but I'm a better writer than I am at freestyling. So like a nigga can freestyle better than me all day long, but I'm gonna write a better song, you know what I'm saying? And um, but back then, man, we used to, we used to battle rap at the lunch table. We used to rap at the at the rec center. And this one time, this one time, this kid was freestyling against me. Boy, I, I pulled uh, I pulled this uh, I pulled this Kanye line. Oh, I was like, my float is in the pocket like wireless. I got the bounce like hydraulics. I can't call it. I got the swerve like alcohol. Lakes my freshman year. I was going through hella problems till I bit up the nerve to drop my ass up out of college. My teacher said I was a loser. I told her, why don't you kill me? I give a fuck if you feel me. I'm going to follow my heart. And if you follow the charts or the plaques or the stacks, you ain't got to guess who's back. I spit that whole line and I was acting like I freestyled it. And then it was like, man, I think you wrote that shit, man. Like, or, or you got that shit from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I used to use that same verse to just defeat niggas in a freestyle in a in a rap battle, man. I used to win too, boy. <laughs> the world don't even know that. That's that's funny, man. What was like that one artist you would say, hey man, like I really like go hard for this music. Was it Jeezy, Gucci man? You know what I'm saying? It was three people in middle school. I of course, yay, you know what I'm saying? My whole life, Kanye. Um, Lil Wayne was so hot back then, man, like dropping the mixtapes and then he dropped like Carter, Carter three, which was amazing. And 50 Cent, all the, I got all the 50 Cent albums, you know what I'm saying? Like 50 Cent kind of brought like the tough guy out of me, T.I. too, you know what I'm saying? Like, so them, those, those were the guys that I was like, yo, I gotta, I gotta step my game up, you know what I'm saying? And come with it for sure. And then by high school, I was trying to convert to like the whole boogie movement because I was just trying to figure out a way to get on. I was like, let me make a hit and just get on. Then I'm gonna convert and just do my own style. You know what I'm saying? Eventually I left, left all that shit alone and just stuck with my own style. I hear, I hear music from the West Coast. I hear music from Atlanta, which is really, Atlanta really has like my favorite style of music because they use like dark trap melodies um, and a lot of auto tune. You know what I'm saying? Every song sounds different, but it all sounds like one continuous chromatic sound, you know? I don't know, I, I've always had this demeanor, you know what I'm saying? I've always been me. And the music that I listened to kind of just gave me the confidence that I needed growing up. So you'll find a mixture of like everything uh, with like my attitude and my demeanor and how I approach things, you know what I'm saying? I'm humble, but uh, I believe in myself a lot, you know? Uh, I wouldn't say cockiness, but like I, I know I'm good, I know I'm cold, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I think it, it it just developed throughout throughout life, you know what I'm saying? And then I'd say in high school, um, I developed like more of like a tougher like exterior, like like a shield from the world. Learn learn you can't you, you can't be cool with everybody, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's a lot of snakes out here. Um, but really though, when I went to when I ended up going to LA and um being being around Nip and all all them sixty niggas will change your demeanor completely, completely. You'll come back to Texas and you ain't having no games. You know what I'm saying? That, that's something that's something that I learned from just being around Nip. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I meant to say this earlier. I don't, I don't know if we got this, but um, being being around Nip also taught me how to be more of a biz, businessman. Stay ten toes down on whatever I believe in, whether it's business wise or just out here in the world. You know what I'm saying? Um, man, I own all my masters, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I drop a lot of merch, make a lot of money off that, you know what I'm saying? So just throughout life, but to sum it all up, by the time I was an adult and started going to places outside of Texas, I came, boy, I came back hard, boy. I came back like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I used to just write music in my room and then pull up on Zach, Zach Witness, and then have him make a beat around whatever I wrote, you know? Now, now I'm more so, I play the beat and I let the beat paint whatever I'm trying to express, but I, I used to write first and then just find the beats later on. Um, was dropping hella mixtapes, you know what I'm saying? A lot, a lot of projects, uh, doing, doing shows at like the little, the little teen clubs and stuff like that, so. That's what that was, man. Started, started going real hard with it in high school.
So my first project was called Spaceship Status. <laughs> this was during like the boogie era. So like I had like a lot of boogie songs, but I was still trying to be futuristic and spacey and all that. Claiming myself to be like an alien and all that. And uh, it was Spaceship Status. Then I dropped, I dropped the Kill Our Humans uh, mixtape. Both, both of these were mixtapes. And then um, uh, I was supposed to drop the Kill All Humans too, but I ain't get around to it. That Kill All Humans too was hard. Like I still got the unreleased songs on the computer. I was like, damn, I ain't never released this. It's cause I ended up like moving on to it, uh, or moving on from it, you know what I'm saying? Then I started dropping real albums, but you can still find those on Dat Piff. So for anybody that's looking, if you go on Dat Piff and you type in Chrome Boss, cause Chrome Boss used to be my original rap name before it was Chromatic. <laughs> So if you look it up on, on that pit, bro, you'll find all the mixtapes and they still bang. I was jamming it like last week. No cap, for real. Chrome Boss was, was more so the boogie, the boogie Texas version of me trying to fit in with Texas. And then uh, Chromatic was when I teamed up with Zach Witness and he was like, he was like, uh, yo, we got to change our name, bro. Like, and then I didn't want it to be too far out from what I already was. And then we found Ch Chromatic is a music note. So chromatic and just C, but we spell it C-H-R-O-M-A-T exclamation mark K in, instead of the I. And so that's when I became like potential to be mainstream artists uh, and had all the, all the elements of what a real artist should have, you know what I'm saying? Chromosome was kind of like my brand. Uh, Sad God is like another brand. Cortez is, a, is another brand, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's, it's just different, different extensions. Like you got Eminem, he Slim Shady, he's uh, Marshall, Marshall Mathers, you know what I'm saying? Like so. Stuff like that. The chromosome is like my own realm. So when you log onto the internet and you see the chromosome and you click on the chromosome page, like that's that's my own like dimension. That that's what I went for right there. <laughs>